Howdy partners, this is Kiram with Clear Imaging, clearimaging.com. We design wicked websites, super fresh designs, been doing it for two decades. I've been making websites since 2003, 17 bloody years, and we've helped thousands of American companies in that time. Today we're taking a look at a dentist's website, and we're going to see how it is in regards to search engine optimizations, Google optimizations. We're going to see if it is doing anything right and wrong so you can learn apply it to your website and get more traffic, therefore getting more sales. So first things first, issue number one is there is no security certificate right here. That's why you see that little padlock. An example of a site with a security certificate is this, nice and fresh, this not so fresh. So two reasons, one, um, you wanna get a new one because you wanna get one because you'll have a slight penalization by Google for not having the security certificate. So there's no sense in being permissive just pay the money and get it and remove that penalization they don't cost much maybe a hundred bucks a year no big deal and some are even free depending on your provider for instance if you're with ionos one in one it's free if, if you're with godaddy i think it's like 80 bucks a, a year anyway let's get a security certificate additionally it's going to help um build some more trust because when someone normally lands on a website and they see this, they don't even think anything, but if they see it like this, there's just going to be a little bit of a reaction in the back of the mind on that. So there's no sense, you know, fostering distrust. Go ahead, get the padlock, and that will help you warm up your prospects a little more and not give them any bad feels. So other items to check out are amount of text on the homepage. Let's scroll down and get a sense. There's maybe 300 words at the most, 200-ish. So you should really go for the gold and 500 minimally. A thousand is more like it for a homepage if you wanna rock and roll. If you really wanna dominate, you should get up into a thousand words. The more text on your page, the more substantial your website is to the Google, and then they can rank you more accordingly because they see that you really have a lot to do with X, Y, Z because there's so much text about it. Another point on that is keyword density. Let's type in the word dentist. Got it up here, down there, over there. Pretty, pretty chill. It's nothing too crazy. What you don't want is um, to overdo it and stuff the keywords, for instance. My favorite example of that, let's type in electrician, and there's 76 matches, all right? Bam, look at all that. So you don't wanna do that. That's called keyword stuffing. But you also don't wanna do it where there's no mentions at all. That would be not helpful. So this is a pretty good density you know, it's like every other paragraph, basically. They're mentioning dentist or dentistry. So pretty decent on that, but still they need more text on the homepage. They need to get a thousand words. So they are missing the boat on that. Other points, let's press Control U on the keyboard to open up the source. Press Control F to search, type in bracket title. Here we are. So here's the title of the page. We see the title up here. You see the first piece of it, Clearwater, FL. So the words in the beginning of the title carry the most weight. The further you get to the end, the less Google, um, the less weight Google puts on them. Ironically, they decided to put their city at the beginning, which is unusual. <sighs> hmm, what is the name of this dentistry? It's called General Dentistry. All right. So they should put is General Dentistry first, because that's the company name. That's just a little more... Uh, looks better and is a little more typical company name and then any any other keyword related to their service of dentistry let's go to services okay oh great it's a one-page website oh lord we'll talk about that in a minute so I'm not saying you should then take every service and put it in the title All right don't do that you have a limit of 55 characters to put in the title. And the reason why I'm emphasizing this 
thing is this has the most weight than any other optimization you can do is the page title. It's the most important element on your page. Google places a lot of weight on it, so you have to do it just right. So we want to start off with the company name. We want to list a couple services, and then we want to put the service area. But you're not going to put all of these services. That would be overdoing it. So pick your best ones. Pick your most popular or the ones that um, bring in the most people. All right, teeth cleaning perhaps, right? So we got general dentistry, um, teeth cleaning, Clearwater, Florida. That's it, piece of cake. And that would be the format for the home page, the title. An example of a way not to do it over here back with our boy control U. here they're listing almost all their services so don't do that that's too much Google actually cuts it off after like 60 characters 70 so you're really doing yourself no favor so coming back we need to optimize that title and then it seems like this is a one page website a one pager which is most unfortunate. They're better than nothing, right? This is better than having no website. But why would you settle for something like that when you can have something so much better? Adam Web Designs. We'll take a peek at them. So a one-page website is problematic because this is all you've got. Google comes checks out your site, it sees you have 300 words on your whole site, not a whole lot of weight on your website, not a whole lot of importance. You are going to be weighed very differently than a dentistry website in the same city that has 50 pages. All right, you only have one, and they have 50 pages, all unique quality content, all with the titles optimized, with headings optimized. We didn't talk about headings, but that's important and lots of text 500 words minimum that is going to these guys are going to be dominated by them so if you have a one page website and you're watching this you really want to move off of that asap so you can start winning with seo because you're never going to win in google with a one page website it doesn't matter how many reviews you get you would have to get tons of tons of links to your website and tons of reviews to make up for that so you need to get some content going if you have this kind of a situation. Yeah, these all just go straight down. One of the things I was about to touch on was headings. Headings are also an important optimization for your website. Okay, so you know what headings are, right? Headings are these, it's the big bold text that goes above a paragraph. So in Microsoft Word, you see that. WordPress, etc., etc. Web pages also have headings, and Google looks at headings, so headings have some weight. Now they are done incorrectly on this site. Over here, I search for H1, and that means heading one, and that means the the main heading for the page, which in this case is this chartreuse, sans serif font. This guy. All right, this is the heading one. They've made the mistake of repeating of using a heading one three times. You're only supposed to have one heading one per page. All right. And these should be heading twos. They should be subheadings. All right. Heading two, subheading. It's just confusing to Google because you're saying this is the most important piece of text and this is the most important piece of text and this is the most important. When this is truly unimportant, contact us does not need to be in a heading one. It's like a real waste. It's like putting it's like put, putting home for your title. You want to put your keywords in your title. So for your heading one, you want to have your keywords in it. You don't just want to um, use it like this. So one heading one per page, right? And it should discuss the contents of the page. So professional dentist professional dentistry services clearwater. That's what the heading one for this poll page should be. These should be heading twos, heading threes. All right, does that make sense? Heading one has the most weight because it's the first. So that's another optimization. Um, 
This is the company that made that website. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. Um, coming back here. Needs a lot more content. Truly, they need um, one page for each service, right? That would be 10 pages right off the bat instead of just a paragraph. Instead of 80 words, let's get 500 to 1,000 words on every service and turn this into a drop down menu. Bam, bam, bam. 10 pages, one page per service. Throw in a testimonial, throw in some before and after, throw in how you do your process, pricing if you want, request form. Really go to town and make these into pages with good content. Because SEO is all about content and Google will like this site better. Additionally, they could benefit from having a blog. So that's a great place to add future pages because if you consider it like this, yeah, you know, you SEO'd your website and added three pages of content last year. That is definitely not enough to keep you in the race because SEO is a race. It's you and all of your competitors trying to get to the top spot in Google Maps and in Google. And one of the best ways you can do that is by creating content. So if, if your competitors are making a page a month and you do two pages a year, you're not gonna win it. You need to be doing a page a week or a page every two weeks. And you're not gonna keep putting pages into the services section. You know what I mean? You're not gonna make root canals one, root canals two, root canals three, and just put them in here. That's just gonna be weird. You're gonna confuse the prospect. You've gotta keep the services very simple, one page for each separate service. So that's why you make a blog over here, click the blog, and that's where you can add, you know, five reasons why you don't want a root canal and you should do blah, blah, blah. Or how to survive a root canal and not die. Whatever it is, writing content on these topics, put it in the blog, that's where it can live, week in, week out, and that way you're in the race. Because you can't get to the top of Google by doing the bare minimum. You've gotta make lots of good quality content. Additionally, it helps sell, uh, helps sell you better to your prospect because when they land on your site and they see how much um, content you have on this topic, they will perceive you as a thought leader, right? Uh, I'm going to perceive this bloke quite differently than I would uh, another dentist who has a blog and who has 50 articles all about dentistry and teeth health and whatever. So it, it's good for the Google and it's also good for building up rapport with your prospect because people do business with you if they trust you. So creating content is also very handy for building trust. Now, if you can't be bothered to make that content, you just, it's been on your battle plan for a year and you keep shifting it each week to another day and you're going to do that blog one of these days and it never quite happens. Don't perpetuate the madness. Come on down, clearimaging.com. We can create the content for you. All right, we do wicked designs as well, but we also do really good SEO, digital marketing, We've been doing it for two decades. So come on down and we can take that off your plate so you can work on the business and not in the business. Additionally, if you have a website, I'd love to take a look. I'm doing these videos for free for the time being, not forever, but just for the time being. So go ahead and Tell me what your website is, whatever, whatever.com. Put it in the comments and then I can do a little video and we can talk about it and I can teach you some things. I can learn you some digital marketing so you can improve your website, get more visitors and get more uh, sales as a result. All right, so don't be shy, just let me know. Alrighty, so until then, thank you very much and take care.